Yeah, hi guys, Jasper Hewitt here again from Bushwacker Africa. Beautiful Sunday morning, winter's morning, sun is shining and I thought I'd take the opportunity to pull out our new safari tourer and uh, give you guys a tour of what we're offering at the moment, some of the new changes and tweaks we've done to this. This is our uh, trailer model of off-road trailers and it's uh, what we call the mighty mouse of trailers. It's a serious off-roader, this compact, heavy-duty construction, aluminium and stainless steel bodywork, heavy-duty suspension, brake system, coupler, shock absorbers, and uh, yeah, it's really tough and compact, but it really packs a lot of features, which is impressive once you'll see, and I start opening up all the options it offers. So this is ideal for the, the traveler who likes to, to move, pitch up at night, set up his camp, and leave early in the morning. Also ideal for uh, weekend getaways. It's catered for four people, so in terms of crocker and cuttery. But yes, you add a add a dome tent or another nest to your vehicle, and you can easily accommodate four people. So yeah, it's great. It's compact, easy to store, easy to tow, and manage. But um, offers all the comforts you would imagine a bushwhacker would offer you. So we can start here in the front. We've got our large nose cone. And you see the aluminium step on the front, I'll get to that, that hinges up out of the way to access the nose cone. Let me just quickly do that. Just go down here, there's a little latch. Look at that, it just hinges up like that. And that's out of the way, so we can get access to the nose cone. Good. All on gas shocks as you see. Plenty of storage inside. Additional gas bottle for the front shower system. Heavy duty jockey wheel. A couple of comes with a standard lockout pin for off-roading. Here you can see a gravity-fed tap from the front-mounted water tank. So it comes with two water tanks, this model. It has a 60-liter tank in the front, which feeds the shower system and the hot water. And also at the same time, we offer a bypass on this tap at the bottom, so you can switch over a valve and suck water from an outside container. So you don't have to use up all your storage water on board. Then it has a second uh, filler, so we've got two fillers here. The right filler is for your underbelly aluminium tank, which feeds a 75 litre tank. And that is for your kitchen water. So you can split the water between grey and clean and not uh, waste good water on showering and washing up. Then you'll see your front, we've got the uh, large wood storage area. We can chuck in lots of wood or charcoal or odds and ends, ground sheets, whatever. Um, Storage boxes on the sides, both sides front have storage boxes. Clip that up in there. Nice large compartment in there for goodies and uh, equipment. Then we have a side access door there, which you clip on this. That drops down. Gives you access to your interior general storage area inside the trailer. Some additional pockets and you can see your Victron management system there, your solar and chargers, all powered by Victron. So this unit can take uh, anything from a 100 amp to a 240 amp uh, battery pack inside there. Here you've got your extra storage for fuel, two jerry cans, plus some extra storage in the front for odds and ends. Uh, an air vent for the fridge so they can breathe when it's all shut and closed up inside. Your input power point for your 220 volt charging system. Here's your uh, fire extinguisher. And then we move around, we've got... Uh, this is your kitchen tap, which you'll see, you'll see later in the next video, uh, from the uh, tank below the chassis, clean water. We have these dropout swing jacks, which you just wind with your wheel spanner, adjust the level of the trailer. Your heavy duty bumper, as you can see here, it's got a removable tow hitch, which is adjustable. You can tow a small boat behind that, or ideally put your uh, bicycle rack on there and tow your, take your bicycles with you. As you can see, you've got another gas bottle here, which feeds the the kitchen and the uh, stove at the back. Another jack, so it's got two jacks at the back. Here you can see your adjustable brackets for the 270 bush fan that we fit. We'll get to that later too. That lifts up and down, give you height adjustments. And that's a 270 right round over the kitchen. Here we have your external power points. Your monitor, as you can see, is on the three green lights now, charging from the solar panel on the roof, which is the 160 watt panel. Uh, your power points, external power points. Another large storage box in this wheel arch. The other one in the front here. And then we just pop this open, this door. This swings out differently again to the front. 
some more pockets in that drawer and here is where you'd pack your clothing in so there you've got some nice cupboards and, and storage compartments for clothing and then we have led lights and all compartments all around the outside which offer you a yellow or a red or a white light and they can be dimmed depending on what the conditions are like so this is your door shut that down again nice dust seals seals very well then another feature you can see we've um, included these uh, new approach angle covers uh, front and back just to give it that nice look that shaped look and then you'll see we've um, flared the wheel arches giving that a bit of a, a new shape so it gives it a, a tough tough look and a bit of a, a more chunky look you know which is a nice feature and then obviously accommodates the wheel, wider wheel bases so here we have your uh, geezer box as you can see it's an aluminium case mounted to the front of the trailer which houses the geezer right there there it is, a 5 litre per minute geezer connected up to the gas bottle in the front of the nose cone. And that supplies the hot water tap here. Drop this out. Look at that. Let's drop that down. There's the hot water tap into this basin and also feeds the shower and hand shower, which we'll feature later. A nice little wash up basin for your bush shower and uh, toiletries in the morning. And then up here you'll see then the bush fan again from this eye angle. Now remember this is fitted with a, a 360 nest aluminium tent, the 1.5 wide, so it's a lovely large bed, 100 millimeter mattress, plenty of storage inside for your bedding, and there you can see the solar panel on a bracket, which is removable too, so you can lift that panel out of the storage bracket and set it up as a freestanding panel with a 10 meter extension lead, all included. So there you have it guys, this is the uh, amazing heavy duty off-road compact Safari Tourer some beautiful features offers a lot of uh, accessories ideal for you guys that love traveling towing easy and uh, on the go the whole time so for more information guys yeah visit our website www.bushwhacker.co.za and follow the links to the safari tour page stay well stay safe and uh, follow these videos cheers